Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for December 29th. This is for whoever it resonates with. We're going to go with that. May or may not, we'll see what happens. Daily energy for Saturday, December 29th. December 29th. We gotta take that one, huh? Oh, the world. The world. This is a completion. A major, co a lesson has been learned. Somebody has learned a big lesson. There's a, something is, is completing in your life. One phase, one project, one long-term situation that you have been involved with, done, over. Something big. This could be a relationship, a marriage that you've been in for a long time, done. This could be you've been single forever, done. You could have been at the last job, you could have been at a job for 10 years, 20 years, it's over. Something big. You could have just got your master's degree. Completion. Big. Something big. Done. One phase of your life is over and you are about to start a new one. This can also signify travel. Moving. Moving to, you know, overseas. Or to some place you've never lived before. So this is big big so we have a uh, major change on the horizon and uh, this converts to an 11 this is something it's a wish it's something you've wanted this completion is something that you have wanted and it's 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 here it's here so Yeah, let's get some more cards. The overall energy is is a major completion. Something big that you have been invested in for a long time is ending. Twenty nine. A lesson has been learned. A major lesson has been learned. You check, check something off of your bucket list, okay, of lessons, because something's been learned. What do we have for the 29th? So yeah, something you wished for. Manif and now we have another one. So basically we have three ones because that converts to an 11. So instant manifestation. So be really careful of your thoughts at this time because your thoughts truly do become things. Something you have been thinking about is manifesting. Absolutely. It may not be manifesting the way that you thought it was going to manifest, but it's manifesting. Now, action is being taken. Divine action. Somebody is shedding the old. That's what the magician does. Sheds the old. They're shedding the old. Mm. If you've been single... If you've been single for quite some time, you're probably not going to be single for much longer.
things have been a little chaotic and unbalanced. But I think it's a change because the magician changes things. Somebody has been not getting what they want, not getting what they deserve. They've been in an unhappy situation and it's all about the change. No kidding. I just want to make sure that's zoomed in. Things have been really, really unbalanced. There were the Six of Pentacles reversed with the Temperance card reversed. There's been a lot of extreme highs and lows. And somebody has been in an unhappy, unfulfilling situation, not receiving the blessings they deserve. But... And if you were in a relationship right now, your relationship could be ending because this is the single woman or the single person, the nine of shields, whether it's upright or reversed, it's independence. Re reverse, for those of you that are single, you're probably not going to be single for much longer. For those of you that are coupled and you're in an unhappy situation where there's no more growth, you're not getting reciprocation from the other person, things are imbalanced, you know, where you're not getting reciprocation, there's no happiness, you're probably going to become single. I'm just telling you what this is. There's a major change. That's a major change that's happening. And you're going to have to make a choice. Decisions. Which, what are you going to do? What are you going to do here? Change. This is a card of change as well. You have to make a choice. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? So yeah, you're going you're gonna to have to find the uh, divine wisdom within yourself to make a choice. So I think today is a day, the 29th is a day where you're, you're in decision-making mode about your happiness. Being practical. It looks like you're heading in a new direction. You're heading in a new direction towards more stability. Something more secure. Something more practical. Oh, the Ace of Cups. If you've been independent, I have to tell you, if you've been on your own, you're probably not going to be. You're going to get an offer of love. Somebody could be heading in your direction and they've been taking a long time. But they're coming, and they're coming with a solid, stable offer. This person's been thinking about it. If you're single, you've got somebody coming in with an offer of love. Ooh. But we also have somebody that is giving up on a situation. So if you're, if you're coupled, you could be dealing with a man that is no longer has any desire to put in any effort. So we have somebody here that is giving up on a situation as well. So this can go, this is for singles and for couples, right? We have, we have a male, which is, this is a, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could be any sign taking on these energies. This man has lost his focus. He's lost his concentration. He has no desire to fight or put any more effort. He's lost his ambition. He's lost his drive to put in effort with underneath the six of pentacles. It's like he's not, he doesn't have anything left to give. So it looks like he's turning his back on a love situation. So we have, we do have some male masculine energy this is a masculine okay 
that is no longer reciprocating, not wanting to reciprocate, he may be making the decision to, you know, head away from something that used to be emotionally fulfilling, but it's not anymore. It's not happy anymore. Yeah, he's done. He's not going to put in any, the three of pentacles reverse. It's like he's not, he doesn't want to work on this anymore. He doesn't want to compromise. He's probably not communicating much. Uh, he doesn't want to work with, work on it. So we do have somebody that um, is frustrated. He, this person is frustrated with a situation and it looks like he is not wanting to work on something anymore. So we're going to get some more cards, but either way, we have a we have somebody here that is making a decision to change their path, and that's why we have this con we have this completion here. Somebody could be left to fend for themselves. And you know, that may cause them some unhappiness. I'm just going to be honest with you here. This person, you got to see what's mirroring each other, is trying to be practical. He's looking for something solid. This person is not only trying to be practical, he's trying to be responsible. It's the responsible thing to do rather than to juggle, rather than to play games. You know, he, he can't just pretend that he can have his cake and eat it too. You know, so I feel like we have a person that is making a decision to shed something that no longer serves them for sure for sure for sure for sure because they're just not they don't they don't have any more to give they don't have any more to give there's been too much uh frustration and this person has lost their patience is they've lost their patience for a situation and it looks like they are um just given up. Somebody is giving up on a situation. And then we have we have this 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 single person up here. If you've been single, like I said, you have an offer of love. If you're in a relationship now, you it could be um out of whack, put it that way. Really, really, really out of whack with that temperance card reversed. Uh it just looks like there's a little bit of chaos and disorder and this person isn't reciprocating anymore. Okay? They're not. They're giving up. Somebody is giving up. Lack of energy. These are both lack of energy, lack of ambition. Somebody is absolutely not going to do this anymore. Yeah. Not going to put eight of eight of pentacles reverse. I'm done. I don't ha I'm not going to work on this anymore. Somebody's given up. I hate to keep giving these messages, but the eight of pentacles I, reversed. Okay. I'm done putting in effort. I'm going on my own. I'm taking off. I'm flying. I'm I'm taking this leap of faith and I'm heading out. Somebody is going their own way. That's what's going on here. So we have somebody that is about to step off the edge into the unknown. That's what's happening here. He's about to step right into the unknown. No fear. I have no fear. So, yeah, and he's not taking much with him. He is not taking much with him. And you notice there's 11 on that bag. So 11 is very prominent here. This may have been an 11-year cycle. Either way, we have somebody that is headed in a new direction, <clears throat> breaking free, taking a leap of faith, Stepping into the unknown, and they're not taking anything with them. Only what they can fit in that bag. I'm not taking anything with me. This person that's leaving isn't taking anything with them. 
Now, if you are single, if you are single right now, this person is headed in your direction. They're headed in your direction. Because they've given up on something that didn't serve them. They've already given it up. They're walking away or they have walked away from something that they didn't get reciprocation from. They're looking for reciprocation. This person is looking for somebody that's going to put in effort. So if you are single, be prepared. Somebody's, somebody's heading in your direction. If you are coupled, it looks like somebody could be heading out. I'm just going to be honest with you here. Wish fulfillment. This is, this is, this is heaven. This is heaven sent. It really is. With the Ace of Cups, this is a sign from heaven as well. And this is heaven sent. It's like this, and this is divinely guided. So this is a divinely guided blessing. Somebody, if, they, if you're single, you're getting a wish. This is, the, you've manifested your soulmate and your soulmate is coming in if you are single. Whether you hear from him today, because he, he's, he's slow. He's slow. This, this person is slow, which is a good thing because you want somebody that's slow because slow is practical. If you've got somebody that's flying in, then you gotta, you know, you got to think about this. Or do they even know what they're doing? Are they even thinking? You, know, you want to go with the person that is being practical and responsible. So this is a wish fulfillment. This is a time of hope. It's something that somebody has really wished for. It's like, look at the stars. It's a wish upon a star. Somebody is receiving some sort of, this is a card of healing as well. And this is this is self love. They, these cards they all mean so much. This person is doing what's best for him out of self love. So that he can fulfill his wishes and his dreams. Somebody is getting you know, how I keep thinking is a dream. This is a dream, you know, a dream uh, fulfilled. Oh, ho, the death card. This person has held on and it's gotten too old. It's going over here. The he, this person is, is changing. He can't hold on anymore. Somebody is letting go of something that has no more growth, okay? With the death card reversed next to the sun card reversed, there's no more growth here. And they want their blessings. They want their wish fulfillment. And the only way that they're going to get it is to be practical and responsible and stop playing games and do the right thing. So somebody is taking the power. The magician takes, uses his power to manifest change. To make, she takes action. So this, we have, we have somebody here that is taking action and changing, going in an absolute new direction. Starting over. I'm starting over. So we have a fresh new start here at zero for singles and for couples. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, you really don't need a tarot reading. You don't. Not on love. And my readings are focused on love. We have somebody here that is heading towards emotional fulfillment. A wish. A dream come true after they have been holding on to an unhappy situation. But now it looks like they see the light. You know, they've been enlightened and it's time for a change. 
So we have a major completion here of one cycle in which somebody is stepping on to a new path into the unknown. and search for their dream come true. So if you are the single woman, or the single man, this is a single person, okay? You probably won't be single. You probably won't be single for much longer. This person has walked away from something that is not balanced, harmonious, reciprocated. You know, they've walked away. And they're headed in your direction. And they're being brought to you from heaven, okay? This is heaven sent. Totally divinely guided. If you are in a relationship, a troubled relationship, you know you are. Okay, you already know you are. You can't deny it. And whatever. If you are and you know you are, you're watching this reading. You're begging for answers. Somebody's leaving. They're no longer going to put in any effort. They don't even, they, they could just stop communication and, uh, I mean, stop communication, stop altogether. It's just, this could happen like out of the blue. I just happened to see the blue. Out of the blue. It could happen out of the blue that this person all of a sudden, because this is a kind of like a not thought out, you know what I mean? It's like. All of a sudden, I mean, yeah, he's, he's, he's slow moving. He is slow moving. But it's like all of a sudden he decides, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm heading out. Not taking anything with me but my experiences. So somebody is, is having a fresh new start that they probably didn't even see coming. A major completion of what you once knew is on the horizon. And it's going to lead you to a whole new world. Your whole world is going to change. All you have to do is have faith. Allow yourself to take a risk. So I feel like today is a day of rapid change, rapid change, starting fresh, starting over, going down a new path, leaving the discontent, the frustration, the impatience, and the lack of reciprocation behind. That's what I see in both scenarios, singles or couples. You haven't had somebody give to you, and that's over. I'm in search for what I deserve. That's what's going on here. Somebody is going to do what they need to do to bring peace of mind back to their lives. They're heading out. They're heading out. Somebody's heading out. So they've held on for long enough. It's gotten old. They can't do it anymore. There's no more growth and they're leaving. So that's what I see. I feel like, and if you're single, you got new love coming in. And this person that's leaving is looking for soulmate connection. They're looking for love. That's why. That's why they're leaving. So today is a day of, of, of major, it's a major shift. That's what it is. From an ending 
to a new beginning. I mean, that's an ending to a, to a starting at zero, zero. And the past is being left behind because the only thing this guy is bringing with him is what he can fit in this bag. So yeah, that's what I have for today. I, I don't know if this reading is for you. Let me know below. Talk to you tomorrow.